Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be taking a look at the top 5 moments Karen got owned. Part 2. This video features some of the most entitled and self-absorbed Karens of all time. Now, some of these Karens received some well-deserved karma, so you won't want to miss out on this episode. Now, we have quite a few clips to get through today, so let's jump right into our first clip. Okay, so up first tonight, we will be taking a look at two Karens who get humiliated as a gentleman confronts the pair after he catches them parking in someone else's car park. The pair refuse to accept that they are in the wrong and absolutely will not back down. Both Karens then proceed to get out of their vehicle and begin to harass the gentleman. All parties begin to go at it back and forth for a while until one of the Karens take it too far. This Karen tells the gentleman he should go back to his own country and continues to harass him. Let's check it out. You guys are crazy. What's wrong with you? She was here first. Yeah. Look, she's swearing at everything. Look. What are you guys doing? This lady was here first, and you're swearing in, fr in front of kids and everything? Show some class, ladies. Show some class. Don't That's very have, nice. Don't you have a child in the car? Yeah, and I'm showing them what people are, you are doing. It's wrong. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So you guys could easily Someone back up now. Spoke with you. Someone came up to speak with you. Someone even told you. Don't worry, we're going to post this on YouTube so everybody can see. I'm not coming near you. I'm not coming near you. Then get your f***ing camera out of my face. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah. Go back to your You have lots of respect. Oh, go back to my country? No, go back to my country? Go back to my country. Go back to my country. This is, I am in my country. I never said anything to you. <laughs> Go back. Oh, and you have a kid in the back. Oh my God. I have a car to Jesus. Drive. Yeah, Unbelievable. Okay, so our next clip features a wild Karen caught in a McDonald's drive-thru. This selfish and entitled Karen is in the McDonald's drive-thru complaining to the McDonald's manager about the quality of her food when all of a sudden the customers behind her in the drive-thru start beeping their horns. This then triggers the entitled Karen to the point where she gets out of her vehicle and begins to take her anger out on the customers behind her. Let's see what happens next. Because it's Christmas. It's Christmas. No, it's okay, not. It's the 27th. Well, you know what? You're, you're your daughter's screaming, yelling at yeah, us, because calling us names. There's no reason. Hi, Merry Christmas. Like, she's calling us names. Like, chill out. Listen, but you're, you're in you're the beeping. wrong, so no, get back in beeping. your car. You're, you are beeping, okay? Yeah, everyone else you're is beeping. beeping. Go, go all the way in the back and, and say you're beeping. Idiot, stop videotaping all right. me. Hi. You're wrong. Have a nice Christmas, okay? Happy and holidays. Be, and be patient, because this, you know, school's not today. Happy holidays. Why do we have to in the fight? Like, <laughs> She recording me now? <laughs> oh my god. Our next clip tonight features another upset and entitled Karen, this time inside her local KFC establishment. This Karen is upset because she believes she's been waiting far too long for her chicken tendies. She then proceeds to take it out on the young KFC employees. The employee refuses to give Karen her name as well as the corporate's phone number. This only makes the selfish and entitled Karen even more frustrated, which causes Karen to lose her mind. The employees eventually give this Karen the silent treatment and completely ignore her. Let's watch this Karen get a taste of instant karma. This is the manager at KFC. I have been waiting for over 25 minutes. She's not giving me her name. She's not giving me the number to corporate. She's not giving me the number to her district manager. I have waited for over 25 minutes. This is going to go on Facebook. This is at the KFC on West Avenue. And this is unacceptable over 25 minutes. No name. I need my card back. I need my card back. My debit card. Now she's threatening to call the cops on me. She's refusing to give me her name. She will not give me the district number. She will not give me the corporate number. At all. They're telling me they're going to call the cops, which that's fine. I'm a customer. I'm a paying customer at the KFC. 
Okay, so up next we feature a woman who receives a healthy dose of instant karma. This woman is caught parking in a bus lane with the suspended license and is left to watch her car as it gets towed away, right in front of her. She begins to create a public freakout as she starts to yell all sorts of profanities and nonsense and that's when a nearby police officer comes over to mediate the situation. But guess what? She isn't having any of it. The police officer levels with her and tells her that she needs to grow up and be an adult about the situation, but this only angers the young Karen even more. The police officer and the entitled Karen argue with each other for quite some time before her car is eventually towed away. Let's check it out. My car is being damaged the way it's being taken. How do you know? You didn't look. You have a right to check. You're, you're, you didn't you're look. It, right? Yes. Record, you're recording it. I if will. If you see any damage, it's all on your recording, right? Thank you. And you could take. So I'm allowed take, to stand and watch. But you. Do not have a right to mess with him. That's what I'm How trying to tell you. How am I messing with him? How? You can't just accuse me of doing things I'm not doing. You need to grow up. No, I'm, how I'm, how was I? Up. No. Because you, this is outrageous. You're, you're being outrageous. No, you can't just accuse you, people you, of things. You just can't do what you're doing, okay? What am I doing? You just gotta stop. What am, stop what? Just stop. Stop what? Standing you're, here? Standing you, on a public sidewalk? You're you're watching my car? Feel free to do that. What am I doing? Please leave him alone. What He's was just I doing? doing his job. What was I There's doing? There's no reason to chew him out. What? How no was I chewing him out? Stuff. How was I chewing him out? Just leave him alone, please. How? What did I do? Thank you. That's all I ask. What did I do? That's all I ask. Man. All I ask is you leave me alone. I'm you, trying my to. car is I'm done. To. You can leave now. I'm trying to. But why are you here I'd talking like to me? Because you keep going to mess with him. No, I'm watching my car. You can watch your car. Thank you. Just leave him alone. So, Okay, and so for our final clip tonight, we have an employee at the Holiday Inn quit on camera, right in front of her customers. The woman claims that she's having trouble checking in the hotel guests because of computer issues. The irate customer can't understand that it's out of her control and continues to harass the Holiday Inn employee. The customer pushes the employee to her breaking point after some back and forth and she quits her job right in front of the customer. Let's take a look. Trying to help us? That's your job to check us in. You what do you mean trying to help us? The person in. off the street could help us. I could not log in to help you, okay? Mr. Parrish told me to get your confirmation numbers and your ID and could give y'all a key and put y'all in a room. Now, y'all don't want to do that. You want my confirmation number? You have my ID, I so is that the missing link? You need my confirmation number? Then you'll get me in a room? Y you were the one being about how me just now. Yeah, I am. Because Is now it? I'm really pissed off. Well, you should be pissed off at him. Who? Not me. Parrish. The owner of the hotel. I'm here all by myself. So, with my confirmation number and my ID, you can check me in. Is that correct? Yeah. Back to you. Bye. Now, here's my name. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell so you get properly notified next time we put out a new video. And I'll see you in the next one.